Dobermans really are absolutely great running partners. I mean, they're muscular working dogs, so they just have tons of drive and they can do activities just all day long without much of a problem. But I'm telling you, the absolute worst thing you can do with your Doberman is just slap on a leash and run. It's not good for them, it's not good for you, and it can get really ugly really quick. <music> It's not only dangerous and exhausting, but you kind of look like a fool doing it. Trust me, I know. So let's talk to someone a little more experienced and definitely more graceful than I am at this. We're gonna talk to Lauren and her almost three-year-old Doberman Apollo. Now, Apollo's still pretty young, but even so, him and his owner, Lauren, have entered over 25 5K races, and Apollo has gotten top dog, meaning the first dog to complete the race in all of them except for just one race. And in all, Apollo and Lauren together have placed first in at least 10 races that they have entered. They're definitely pretty experienced at this. So let's check in with Lauren and let's learn a thing or two about how maybe we can start running a little more seriously with our Dobermans. Hey everybody, it's Lauren and Apollo. John is right, a Apollo is a fantastic runner. He was born to run and he motivates me to be a better runner myself. His pace is so quick and uh, unfortunately I hold him back. Otherwise, he'd be just out of here. So this morning, we're gonna go out for a quick run just to give you some ideas on how you can better run with your Doberman. Apollo, are you ready? You ready to go run? Run, run, run. Come on, let's go. Well, we just got done with our morning run. Apollo, as always, did fantastic. I think we're, uh, we're ready for our next race. So many Doberman owners struggle on when is the best time to actually start jogging with their dog. It, this is just my personal experience and opinion with Apollo, but it is always best to check with your dog's vet first. When Apollo turned one years old, I took him to his first wellness visit and I sat down with the vet and we had a discussion about this. And the best advice I was given by my dog's vet was as any new runner, you need to start slow. You need to start slow. You cannot just go out and start running. You need to build the stamina. You need to build the endurance, just like any new runner for people, for dogs, for anybody. So after Apollo's visit, we experimented. We did maybe a half a mile, three fourths a mile, up to a mile really slow jog and when he was closer to 18 months old to two years old that's when we really started focusing on the competitive racing running in crowds and actually running to win for any new beginner runner you want to start off slow and with short distances because you need to build up that stamina and endurance so with apollo while we would be out walking we would do just do a short little jog but nothing really long maybe about a half a mile and then we would stop and walk so the next day we would try again, but we would just go longer and longer and longer in subsequent days ahead. But of course you need to have rest days. For any new beginning runner, your muscles are gonna get tired, your muscles are gonna get sore, and you need to make sure you rest and recover. During Apollo's critical socialization phase when he was just a puppy, one of the other important things that we had to establish was walking in large crowds and getting him acclimated to a lot of outside distractions. So when we were leash walking, I brought him out to several places that were dog friendly with crowds of people, brought him to a public events, and I try to have his focus on me and not focus on the other dogs, the kids in strollers, just on me only. And I did this with positive reinforcement by talking to Apollo, reassuring that he was a good boy. And I also carried treats with him, something high value that he would do anything for. It easily transitioned to running in races because he still focuses on me and doesn't let the crowds bother him, the loud music, the cheering. He is just focused and determined to run with me, focus on me, and to basically maintain his pace while we run these races. We try to avoid walking off of the trails because there's lots of debris, broken glass, uh, there's rocks, there's, I mean, who knows what. And so to make sure that Apollo's feet uh, do not get injured, I check his feet regularly. And during the time that we've trained, he's built up hard calluses on his, uh, on his pads. And another main important issue that a lot of owners tend to uh, forget and neglect on their dogs 
is nail maintenance. You have to keep your dog's nails trimmed. That's just so important for their feet and their overall health. So with Apollo, I Dremel his nails. I keep them short and trim so that we don't have any problems while he's jogging. One of the first things I taught Apollo when he was a puppy that is widely used when we jog in these races is leash training. That is one of the most important things I've established with him. When he was a puppy, we would take walks and I trained him not to pull on the leash. He stayed at my left heel position and to not pull forward because I had to lead the way, not him. In races, that becomes very important because with crowds of people, he I don't need him to go and run under people's feet, zigzagging in and out of people and clotheslining them with the leash. That's just incredibly dangerous. So leash training was definitely very, very important. Positioning while you're running with your Doberman should always be repetitive and the same every time. So for Apollo, he runs on my left side. That's just the easiest way for him to run with me. And we've done that since he was a puppy with leash training. And so we've transitioned that into jogging as well. Now, if you're planning to go out and go for a run with your Doberman, you need to make sure you do a couple things first. So for Apollo specifically, I wanna make sure that he did not just eat a meal it doesn't feel good for anybody to go running on a full stomach. So I make sure he's eaten at least an hour or two before we actually go out and go jogging. And also the same goes for water. You don't want to have your dog drink gallons of water right before you go jogging because they're going to have an upset stomach. So you want to make sure you give them enough water to make sure that they're hydrated, but not immediately before you go running with them. So to make sure that Apollo doesn't acquire any injuries, um, I tend to massage his shoulders and his legs and his hips, just his back and just to help him stretch out his muscles. I don't want him to injure himself or pull a muscle or start limping. That would just be the worst thing you want to do. Now for race day, Apollo gets really excited. He knows when it's race day because I have this thing with him when I say we're gonna go run 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 come on Apollo we're gonna go run 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 he gets all amped up and he knows that when we first get there he sees the crowds of people he knows he's gonna start racing so he gets so motivated he gets people around him motivated he gets me motivated race days are so much fun and we look forward to them every single time when I go jogging with Apollo we just have basic equipment I always make sure he's well hydrated before we run and I have a hands-free dog leash this ties around my waist and it has a bungee end to it that clips onto his collar or harness or whatever equipment you prefer. And of course, I have the dog bags because sometimes it happens during the race and you always have to clean up and pick up after your dog. One of the worst things you can do is jeopardize the health and safety of your dog. So you wanna make sure that you consult with your dog's vest and educate yourself on any of uh, heat related injuries, whether it's heat exhaustion, heat stroke, or any other ailments that your dog could suffer while jogging. Just like people, your dog can get overheated. Excessive panting, if your dog is lagging behind, you need to make sure your dog's health comes first. When Apollo and I cross that finish line, oh man, it feels good. Apollo knows he did a job Job well done and he was a very good boy but for any athlete and for any runner you don't want to stop right away because you have to apply a cool down period when we are done racing we 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 slow down and we walk around a little bit because for myself and Apollo I want to make sure his heart rate is slowed down and not stopped immediately so I don't let him sit down he needs to cool off and walk around a little bit and I also do not give him water right away because if he's excessively panting he doesn't need to drink gallons and gallons of water that it's just, it's too dangerous. So I make sure that he's nice and cool and calm down, and then I'll give him some water in a nice little shady spot. Real quick, guys, we'll get back to Lauren in one minute, who, by the way, still has some killer advice about running with your Doberman that you're certainly not gonna wanna miss, trust me. But I do wanna take a second to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, King Camp, who makes some really cool camping products that are really portable and of specific interest to us Doberman lovers, some awesome products in their King Camp Pets line. For example, they have this really cool portable dog playpen, which is basically like a dog crate that's ultra lightweight. It's really small and easy to carry with you, which is not something you can say about most dog pens big enough to fit a Doberman. It has tons of ventilation with multiple mesh windows made out of an anti-tear PVC netting. It's got two zip open doors. It's waterproof and has provides some UV protection for your dog as well. So whether there's rain or sun, your dog's going to be protected. And yes, it's plenty big enough, even for a large dog like a Doberman. 
It also unfolds really quickly and sets up fast using just a few tent-like poles and you've got this full-size Doberman getaway for your dog to retreat to anywhere you go. And it really does solve that issue that we have of lugging around a giant dog pen anywhere we go, like when we go camping or to the park or to a family gathering where we just need to have that retreat there for our dogs. And we talk about all the time how important it is to provide your dog with a safe place or some sort of retreat if they start feeling overwhelmed, no matter where they are. And this is certainly a great, very lightweight and portable solution to that. Again, this is a King Camp pop-up playpen, but they also make a dog tent and more of a round looking dog playpen as well. All very portable and all of these are available on Amazon. The links to these products, of course, will be down in the description down below this video so you can go take a look. Now, let's cut back to Lauren and let's see what killer advice she has waiting for us still about running with her Doberman. For any athlete and for your dog especially, if you're gonna be jogging with them, you wanna make sure that they have a very steady, well-maintained diet. Diet is so important. You wanna make sure you're giving your dog enough nutritional value food uh, and extra additives to make sure that they're able to handle all the calories they're burning while they're jogging. You wanna make sure you reach a good balance level. Uh, for Apollo specifically, he's been on Purina Pro Sport. It's a good food for us. It works well for him. I also add extra protein, some green beans, vitamins, you name it. Uh, just to make sure that he maintains all, all the calories that he burns while, while running. When I first started running with Apollo, I needed to increase his food intake just a little bit because he was starting to lose a little bit of weight. So you need to have an equal balance between food portion and how much calories your dog is losing every time you go running outside. So it's probably best you could talk to your vet about this, a pet nutritionist. Just make sure you maintain that healthy diet for your dog. Now guys, remember that all Dobermans are individuals, right? They have different drive levels and different personalities. So some Dobermans might take to running a little bit better than others, but I think it's safe to say that most Dobermans have a high drive and do really well as running partners. And also remember that long, repetitive, high impact exercises, especially those on hard surfaces like concrete is generally not considered safe for Doberman puppies who are under 18 months of age, but of course, talk to your veterinarian because I am not one, um, because mainly their growth plates and their joints haven't closed and it can damage their joints. Now, dogs, they also can't sweat like you and I, they sweat through panting, not through the rest of their bodies, so they overheat easily and are susceptible to extreme temperatures. And remember, your Doberman can't tell you when they're feeling bad or too exhausted, so you gotta watch out extra close. Links to the products I mentioned by King Camp can be found down in the description down below such as that ultra portable dog pen and they are the sponsors of this video so if you found the products at all intriguing whatsoever definitely take a look and learn a little bit more about what they offer it certainly can be useful to find an easier way to lug around all this big equipment we need for a big dog like a doberman thank you so much for hanging out with me today guys please hit that subscribe button down below before you go anywhere and the like button i'd really appreciate it and i'll hang out with you next time take care <music>